What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. And we are JK, JK Builders. Builders. If you're new to the channel, you should definitely subscribe. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, helps out the channel a whole lot. It's very much appreciated. And it doesn't cost you a thing. Not even one penny. Not, not even a penny? Nothing. It's absolutely free. Just hit the <laughs> like button. Today, we're doing another review of a set that we found on Rebrickable.com. It is an alternate build of the Lego Ideas Seinfeld set. Jackson, you don't need to tell me about this box. Sorry, you got the night off. But yeah, so it's an alternate build of the Seinfeld house. It's called Seinfeld's Apartment. Um, it uses most of the pieces from this set. Now, here's the deal with this set. I liked it quite a bit. Like, I loved the detail. I loved all of the little Easter eggs from the TV show. I thought it was pretty good. But ever since we built it, it just sat on our shelf. And it doesn't really fit in with any of the genres that we've been collecting over time. It was just kind of a nostalgia thing, you know? Kind of like, buy it just because... I really like the show. And Jackson didn't really watch the show, so he didn't really care too much. What I, can't, we I can't watch the show. Yeah, we, it's not really appropriate for an eight, nine year old for the most part. Um, so uh, this is one that I was really considering just boxing up and selling on eBay, to be completely honest, just because it wasn't getting any use and it didn't fit the style of, of sets that we typically collect. So instead, I was on Rebrickable.com like I always am. I'm always looking at alternate builds, trying to find new buildings for our city and new ideas of things that we can build. And I came across an alternate build for the Seinfeld set. There's actually a few of them on there. There were a couple that I was debating between. None of them are like mind blowing. But there's a couple that I thought looked pretty good, would probably fit in okay with our city. They're half base plates, which is what we needed to fit that space between the Lantern Festival and the Home Loan House. Um, so we went ahead and ordered the instructions for Seinfeld's apartment. Um, so that is what we're going to review today. This set costs $80 to buy. Um, so this is a smaller build. We'll determine here within this video whether or not I think it was worth the $80, um, whether or not you should go out and buy this set to build this alternate build, or if you are just thinking of getting rid of this set is it worth it to take it and build this alternate build those are kind of the things that we'll be discussing but let's go ahead and check out Seinfeld's apartment alternate build set okay so here it is Seinfeld's apartment the rebrickable version of the Lego ideas Seinfeld apartment so we don't really need to take a look at the minifigs we've already done that if you haven't seen a review of this set you can go back and check that out it was quite a while ago but obviously we have Kramer, Seinfeld, George, Elaine, and Newman. Awesome minifigures. They look just like they do on the show. I was very happy with them. Very, very cool. They got tons of little Easter eggs like the pretzel and the marble rye and all kinds of things. But what we're looking at today is the alternate build. Now this is not designed off anything on the show. It is not. It doesn't look anything like it. Um, the only reason they call it Seinfeld's apartment is because it comes from the Seinfeld set. Other than that, it really has no relation to Jerry Seinfeld or the Seinfeld show. Um, it is literally just an apartment that looks kind of cool and is on a half base plate and can go in a city. Um, so checking out the front, one of the coolest things with this one is going to be the part usage. You know, yeah. you're very limited on these alternate builds when it comes to taking the parts that you have available and then creating something out of them. And I, I always commend the people that take the time to do that. Um, I think it's amazing what they do. And the fact that they're able to come up with this build out of the parts that they had from that set is pretty incredible. Um, so you have the two-tone um, of the building. You got, well, it's more of a three-tone. So you got the red brick there on the front. You got the light bluish gray around the bottom. And then you got the white on the top. I actually like that contrast. It looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, on the front, you have the sidewalk here with a nice little bench. You got a fire hydrant. I think this is like a parking meter. Then you have the mailbox right here with a piece of mail on the inside of it. A little light hanging down here, the front door. Uh, now, one of the bummers with building these alternate builds, too, is in order to actually build them, sometimes you have to peel the stickers off um, if you've already built the original rendition of the set. And that's one thing that just absolutely kills me. Like, there was uh, stickers on these. Like, this was the refrigerator from inside the house, you know, with, like, the Superman stick, uh, yeah. magnet, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that It just killed me to have to remove those, but I had to because they were going to be on the front of this, and it couldn't look like a refrigerator on the front of the building. That, that would have looked bad. Yeah gotta do it gotta do <laughs> yeah. so you have these uh little blind things that kind of come down in front of the windows uh nice red brick around the door you got a nice little uh, piece of dog poop right there that needs someone needs to clean up um coming around the back i actually added these fences um because we already put it in the city to see what it looks like uh, so those don't come with the set um just a little backyard space you had a chair with a box on it this is like a lamp or a heater um bicycle hanging down from the back with a fishing pole um, and then you have these little uh, awning here that's hanging down on the back, which is actually doors from the yeah, inside of Jerry's apartment. Again, nice part usage. On the top, you just have like some antennas and like industrial type things, like maybe some AC units, something like that. 
uh, which I think looked pretty good. And then it's cool that they use these things that actually hold the lights in the set as just kind of details along, along the roof line, so. Also, this could be a dance floor. Mm, mm. It does kind of look like a dance floor. But yeah, it's just kind of a, a rooftop terrace. So that is pretty much the gist of the outside. I think it looks pretty good. It's, you know, it's simple, it's basic. It's nothing like crazy detailed, but I do think it looks pretty cool and it's, it's unique. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Okay, so on the first floor, you do have some nice details and it is fully furnished. It looks really, really good, like an apartment. Um, coming in through the door, you have that light that hangs over the doorway. Um, it's got a nice little chair right there with a coffee table in the middle. Um, nice couch over on this side and a nice cabinet over there with some statues or trophies on top. Really cool big screen TV uh, sitting on a TV stand, some artwork there on the wall. Um, and then a little painting there above the couch, even though there's nothing on it. <laughs> then you have an end table there with a lamp and it looks like a bottle and the window over there. So yeah, it's fully furnished. It does have the tiled floor, so it's nice and detailed. Very, very cool that they were able to accomplish that. Um, you got a little area rug there in the middle as well. So I think it looks really good, actually. Let's check out the next floor. On the second floor, you have the bedroom slash kitchen. So kind of weird. It has the kitchen in the bedroom, but where else are you going to put it? You know, it's just a small apartment. So you have a little kitchen area here with the sink. You got something cooking on the stove, little cabinets above and below. Um, again, it doesn't look anything like Jerry's apartment, but... It is a full apartment. Over here you have the bed. You got a little computer station where he can get some work done. Telephone there at the foot of the bed. At least that's what I think that is. That's like an antique telephone. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, a little table there in the middle with some stools you can sit and uh, relax. Some boxes piled up there. So nothing too special. One All right, Jackson, the rebreakable version of Jerry's apartment. What are some of the things you like about this one? Well, I really like the part usage, like you, like you said. I really so one thing that I found interesting was that they used one of these pieces as the mailbox, and then they yeah. put these in, and then uh, they could put the letter in. But yeah, I really like the part usage in the front. I really like how it looks modern. Like to me, it looks modern. Yeah, like it's certainly nothing that I mean. It doesn't look anything like anything that we already have in the city. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. It's very yeah. unique looking. Um, and I like the contrast, I like the color, but it is very plain. It's not something that's going to like stand out. It's just kind of, it's almost like a filler piece in our city. Yeah. You know, something that if you just need a half base plate to fill, it's a good little filler piece, you know. <laughs> it's not anything crazy, but you're right, I love the part usage. The fact that they were able to use some of these parts, like you get the doors back here, yeah, you got the these uh, things back here that are holding the lights. You even have microphones, <laughs> like as part of the detail of the roof. Uh, so very, very cool that they were able to take what they had available and turn it into this. So like I said before, the Jerry Seinfeld Lego set retails for $80, $79.99. Jackson, would you go out and buy the Seinfeld apartment just so you could build this set? Hmm. I mean, I haven't watched the show, so I don't really know. Like, what, what Unrelated to the show, do you oh, think okay, this is okay. cool enough to go spend $80 on the set and build this? Yes. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it is inexpensive. It's, uh, we said in one of our, our previous video when we built the noodle shop out of the two sets that that was our least expensive modular building. It was $70. This one's $80. So this is coming in at second place for our least expensive modular building. Like I said, if you need a filler, if you just need a half base plate and something that looks kind of cool and unique, I think it's worth $80 for sure. But would I personally go out and buy the Seinfeld set just to build this? I don't think I would. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're tired of your Seinfeld set and you're thinking of getting rid of it or selling it, would I turn in this uh, and add it to my city? I absolutely would. I think it's worth doing that for sure. Definitely. Uh, but as far as uh, being a great modular building, it's not that. It's kind of plain. It's uh, missing stairs to the second level. It's missing a bathroom. And I don't really think that it's unique and cool enough that it's something that I'm going to go out of my way to build. But as far as being something that's, uh, you know, half base plate and is going to be a good filler piece in our city, I think it absolutely accomplishes that goal. And for 80 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So... I think it's worth it. Yeah. And then checking out the city where we placed the Seinfeld apartment set, we put it right there in that half base plate space that we had next to the Lantern Festival. I think it looks pretty good right there on the corner, fills in the space nicely. And it kind of goes along with the residential vibe that you get with the home loan house and the blacksmith shop and the haunted house right here at the end. So I think it fits in okay right there. That is where it's gonna go for now. And I think it looks pretty good. Checking out our city. Have we done anything new since we did our last update, Jackson? Yeah. We'll do a full-on update video here coming up. Ooh, one of the big things is we did move the diner over here next to the bowling alley uh, because I bought this bad boy. Shoo! 
the palace cinema retired modular set so we are over time going to collect all the old modulars um, it's going to take us a bit um, obviously to find them some of them are crazy expensive um, but eventually we are going to get them all this is the latest that we have added we want to put it kind of front and center in the city um, so there it is right there on the corner like i said we'll do a full on city update here very very soon um, but that is the newest addition um, let's check out the Seinfeld set here from the back. You can see the backyard kind of coincides nicely there next to the sidewalk and the green grass that goes in the Lantern Festival. Um, so yeah, that's where it is, and I think it looks uh, pretty good. All right, so there it is, the alternate build of the Seinfeld set from Rebrickable.com. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep, keep on building. building.